13 Months in Molesu by Dolores Barcina Sanchez, illustrated by Jessica Perez Jackson. Para si Papa Dan Sinana, Jose Tanatongo Barcinas, and Dolores Regis Barcinas. Our Chamorro ancestors mark time using the phases of the moon and the important seasons in their lives. Months were named to describe seasonal weather and the best times to fish, plant, and harvest food. Just like our ancestors, the Barcinas girls, Loli, Leah, Orissa, Rita, and Ha'ani, mark time using the seasons of their beautiful song song, Molesu. To my guini means this is the way. It marks the beginning of the Mahi Mahi season. The Mahi make their way to Guahan in abundance, coming close enough to the island for us to catch them despite rough waters. During To My Guini, our ancestors would head to the ocean to catch this delicious guihan for their families. And Nehru is the start of the new year. The Barcinas girls are at their family beach to celebrate. It's time to set up the tents and take out the galaiti, Leah exclaims. Maimu is a good time to begin planting near fish near fresh water before the dry season begins. Our ancestors would plant Sunni all along the riverside in Malesu. In Febreru, the Barcinas girls throw a fiesta for their Nana and Papa's wedding anniversary. The girls walk along the river behind their Nana's house to gather Doni and Sunni for the party. They are happy that their whole family comes together to celebrate their grandparents' love. Loli and her papa play guitar and sing for everyone. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine, they sing. It is great to go fishing in Umatala because the weather has shifted from rough to calm. During the full moon, lots of wahoo come to the island for three to five days. This is also the driest month of the year, which means it's time to make room for the newly planted Sunni to grow by harvesting ripe roots from the Sunni patch. Matsu is Mes Chimoru. The Barcinas girls are going to the Pongla festival at the pier. Arissa loves to watch the hundreds of Pongla waiting in the bins for the Pongla catching contest. She carefully chooses the one she'd like to catch. Lumuhu means to return to your root. In this season, the mahi begin to leave our shores and small tuna flourish in. Our ancestors always had a new season of fish to look forward to. In a Brit, the Barcinas girls and their family celebrate Easter. It's time to hunt for Easter eggs. Rita plans her route before she begins. First, she looks under a trunken manga, then in the back kitchen, and finally in her Nana's plant. I found the golden egg under a ha'iguas, Rita shouts with joy. Makmamao is a delicious season. Fruits like lemai and ripe manga are ready to pick. While it is too dry to harvest land crops, Guanghan's trees blossom. Our ancestors could always rely on lemai for sustenance. In Madu, the Barcinas girls pick manga with their Nana. Nana has seven different trunken manga siha. Ha'ani loves to eat sweet manga. Leah prefers pika pickled manga. Mmm, this manga is so mungy, Ha'ani says. Mananaf means crawl on all fours. It's a good time for hunting azudu and other shell animals. Our ancestors would have to crawl through the thick halum tanu to look for azudu and harvest kafu and fare. Hunyu is the start of summer. The Barcinas girls are going to the river on their family's land. Rita and Arissa make cups with bamboo stalks. Ha'ani and Leah make a dam with some stones and Loli admires the vibrant colors of a blue-tailed guailic. 
Semu is a great time of year because everything is in abundance. During this season, fish like marlin, tuna, and wahoo surround the island. Because Semu marks the beginning of rainy season, our ancestors would shift their farms to higher ground in areas like mountains near rivers. In Julio, the Barcinas girls take a dip in priest's pools. These peaceful pools are filled by the Pigua River in the mountains of Malesu. Leah and Loli love to spend summer days relaxing in the fresh, cool water. Tenhus means stormy. Our ancestors valued this rainy season because it helped their plants to grow. When Augusto comes around, the Barcinas girls like to make bukadu and ahu. Arissa picks the niduk and Haani grates its meat with the kumzu. The Barcinas family loves to eat warm ahu when it's raining outside. Lumamlam is the season of lightning. When trees fell during Lumamlam, our ancestors used them to build canoes and houses. In September, the Barcinas girls like to weave. It's time to search for some healthy nizig leaves that have fallen in the stormy weather. Leah weaves a hat, Rita weaves a basket, and Arissa weaves a Henson ulu. Can you teach us how to weave? Haani and Loli ask their cousins. Fengualu is known as planting time. Our ancestors spent this month hoeing the fields. The marlin, tuna, and wahoo get much bigger during Fingualu, ensuring our people are fed while they plant. In October, the Barcinas girls enjoy helping their nana plant in her garden. They plant chonkin pugua, manga, bilimbinis, and more. Rita loves to shovel the rich soil and place young trees into the earth. She cannot wait to see the first fruits that will grow on the tree she plants. During Sumungsung, our ancestors stayed in the village and prepared fishing lines, hooks, and lures for the next season because the waters were too rough to go fishing. Sumungsung is the best time to harvest delicious dagu. In New Bembry, the Barcinas girls stay home and cook in the back kitchen with their family. Arissa fries Bunyelis dagu for her nana and cousins. They enjoy their donuts with syrup. The Barcinas family loves cooking and eating together. Umadzangin means unsettled. This was a difficult time of year for our ancestors because the waters around the island were rough, the rain would come and go, and the winds were very strong. Our ancestors would spend this season thatching roofs that had been destroyed by the wind and rain. December is Christmas time. The Barcinas girls help their family build a big bilan in front of their nana and papa's house. Loli and Haani help hang the lights and display the figurines. Leah, Rita, and Arissa take turns helping Nana weave a roof for the Belen. The Barcinas girls' favorite event of the year is their family's Christmas fiesta in December. All the girls sit in their spots in the living room where they exchange Christmas presents. Loli gives her Nana an orchid plant, her favorite, Leah, Rita, and Arissa give their papa a family photo, and Haani gives all the girls matching bracelets to wear. The Chamorro lunar calendar has a 13th month called Umagahoff. The full moon in Umagahoff is perfect for catching a special kind of sea crab called Hagahoff. Our ancestors would use a Sulu torch to find this Pengla. The Chamor Lunar Calendar helps us understand just how blessed our island is. Guahan means we have, and we are fortunate to have an abundance of food to gather from our Tanu and Tasi all year long. The end. Let's see,